what's going on everybody it's your boy spencer not normally the video i kind of make if you regularly follow my youtube channel but i had this really weird problem that i think a lot of other people have so if you find this randomly on the internet welcome to my youtube channel uh but in any case you're probably coming to this video because you've opened that your case i don't know if you can see it very well and there you go it flashes red and white and you're like how do i fix this problem right because these are like pretty expensive headphones they're obviously you can see here it's like 130 bucks it's not like the most high-end headphone that you can ever buy but obviously 130 bucks is not chump change you'd expect this case to be pretty darn good so you see this problem and i'll walk you through the problems that i saw right um one thing it'll tell you okay so let's take a look it says your battery is flashing red and white boop you just saw it that's why you're here so try charging it so i'm just going to open it and close it again okay you should be able to see that obviously my thing is charged it has nothing to do with the low battery and so you go to the next one it says update the firmware on your product so i'm not going to plug mine in because well i'll tell you in a little bit why but it's going to look something like this the screen that you see right here it'll tell you it's updating and then you'll go through it and say up to date and you'll be like okay well that's not the problem and I saw one article that said something about like clearing uh, like an error message. It's the same thing. It'll take you to two different links. One will say it's going to update. The other one say it's going to clear this error message. It's the same web. It's the Bose updater. It's like a little app. It's a little web app that you have to download. And it'll go through and tell you if it's up to date or not. So I went through that. That's where you, something's here, right? Update the firmware. Install any available product updates. These are the same things. These will send you to the same place. Like I said, it's just like some like web version they have of updating your stuff. Why you would ever need to update headphone cases is beyond me. Like I don't like I've never heard of such a thing where it's like, oh, I think like headphones, don't they just listen to things? I, I don't know, but apparently that's a thing. And, and the last thing it says here is to reset your product. So I go over here, that's fine, right? Disconnect it, connect the USB, right? hold the power button right you hold it for like 20 to 30 seconds and it'll like turn off and you'll turn it off and it'll blink a little bit well i would do that and i did all those steps i just listed right i still get this so come to find out right let's jump over to reddit here and then i'll talk about my experience so this person let's go to the top here i was looking at this earlier i can no longer connect my earbuds right it doesn't show up on bluetooth i get flashing um it says their old ones were having issues charging and now again a charging issue but now red lights instead of white and then if you go down in the comment section basically they flash red and white talk to bose mailed them back to bose get them fixed they returned and half was working other half wasn't i didn't have that experience i don't really think they're going to do that um and i knew there was like one other one that i wanted to look at they claim the warranty is over so this is where i'm at so let me talk about my story and I'll talk about how this thing got resolved because I'm going to tell you right now. I just talked you through the fixes. Those are that's it. Those are your options when it comes to trying to fix this thing. So here's what I tried to do. I tried to reset it. Okay, it didn't work. Now what you're going to do is you're going to plug it in. It's going to go through, and then you're going to go to the FAQ section and be like, "Oh, my earbuds don't work. I need to talk to a representative." Right? You can either text them or chat them or call. Uh, so I went to the chat. I uh, so I went to the text route, which is basically just chat. And they told me, oh, it's out of the warranty. And the website will tell you that too. When you plug it in, it'll go through. You'll say it's, it's a problem. It's still a problem, right? I tried not to talk to a person before. And it says, oh, you're outside of the warranty, which is bogus, right? This is a manufacturing problem. These case, this case does not work because it's faulty. Bose's fault. I didn't break these. I didn't do anything improper. These are my headphones, okay, obviously. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't throw them on the ground. Take good care of these. It's broken because there's a problem with the case. So first of all, I think this shouldn't even have anything to do with a warranty. I think that's crazy. It's like, that's a scam, <laughs> right? It's going to break at some point, it seems, and they will not fix it if it's their fault. So I don't know what a one-year warranty really has to do with it. But anyways, the website will tell you it's outside of the one-year warranty. That's fine with me, honestly. Like, they have to have, like, they, they can't just accept every time there's a problem, there's a call. I understand that. They're, like, a huge business. So obviously, they're going to try to go to the computer route. And the computer is only going to be so limited. So I go jump on chat. And I walk them through the things. They ask me for the, you know, the serial number. In a case, and you guys don't know where that is, by the way, just in case you actually do are going through this process. So I have the sports earbuds here. You're just going to take off this little plastic piece. And it's, uh, I'm not, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's kind of right here at the top. You'll see it's four digits. 
So if it asks for your, if it ever asks for your serial number, it's not on the case. It's actually on your left. So you have to actually do the left one. The serial number for some for some reason is just attached to that. I don't know why. Um, but in any case, they're like, oh yeah, it's outside of the warranty. But again, the problem. In, oh, and this person was like, oh clearly you didn't read. They hit me with the clearly. They said clearly you didn't read the warranty. It's like of course I didn't. And first of all, no warranties ever should ever say uh, any warranty policy. Oh by the way. This is a faulty product. It's going to break, and we're not going to replace it no matter what, right? Like, I don't think that was in the in the policy either. So I'm, like, pretty upset. So, and this is where I really come to. How do you get this resolved? You got to go on Twitter and complain about it. Now, I really appreciate that they actually helped me. So this isn't, like, a super just mega bashing Bose. Kind of is. But I, I, the end resolution was I complained about it on Twitter, and I talked. I said I was going to complain about it every day until it got fixed. I refused to give them a cent of my money. It's not even the money at this point. I can pay the $100 discounted price for the replacement. That's no problem, like, in the grand scheme of things. But, like, the way that they handled it is so atrocious. Like, no, there's no way out of principle that I'm paying for these headphones. So I made all this tweet threads. I gave, like, evidence of, like, saying this was what my problem was, never buy from Bose. And then their social media team, you know, talked to me, and they were, like, the actual nice people. I wasn't talking to what felt like a computer on a chat. It was actually, like, a social media person went through, and they ordered my replacement. I was, like, just outside of the warranty. But I guess my final things and final thoughts here on this is if you're having this problem, do not give them a cent of your money. Like, there's no way. This is a, a fault, a problem that so many people are having. There's, you should not be paying for this if it's their fault. Their faulty product, it should be like a recall. That's what they do for cars when there's this kind of problem. They recall it and they fix it for you and they send it and they get a replacement. Do not buy a single thing from them until they fix this problem, right? I'm not saying just in general. If you want to buy other products, go ahead. But specifically for the sports earbuds, if you have this issue, do not give them a cent if it's flashing red and white. I, like out of principle, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I appreciate them for actually giving the replacement though. So I took down my tweet, but I'm just saying if you guys have this problem, don't accept it. Don't tell them, don't let them tell you that you have to buy this replacement. That's bogus. So hopefully this helps somebody who stumbles across this video. But other than that, that's going to do it. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.